So yet another Android 16 based custom room has been updated. Android 16 is uh, actually introduced with this custom room and I'm talking about Cherish OS custom room. It's been a very long time since the last update and this is Cherish OS. Although for now, right now, while making this video, it's not officially unofficially available for many devices. It's available for only few devices. Also for some of the devices, it's available as unofficial version, but I've installed as a GSI just to see which other things available. For example, we have Pixel Launcher pre-installed, which was expected. It was same with uh, previous Android versions also, but some of the things like quick settings panel, yes, it's actually has been changed. We have a new quick settings panel implementation in this case. So the blur behind quick settings panel, new, new brightness slider and so on, everything is there. Same goes with the settings UI. Settings UI has all the colorful icons and so on and because cherish us was having a lot of customizations let's see if we have some we have a ui we have all the things available status bar quick setting themes and so on all these options are present in this case which is really nice and which are the things included one of the things which I loved about this Cherish OS custom room is this show IME button space, which you can disable and you can simply disable, you can simply remove the space below the keyboard. And actually, this is a very basic thing, but unfortunately, it's not present with many custom rooms. But Cherish OS is providing you, which is good. It's not a big deal, but still it is available. So just wanted to let you know. Some of the features which are included, for example, status bar action chip, it is here, it is working fine. Many custom rooms are adapting to that. Same goes with some of the battery styles, battery icons on the status bar. There are a lot of battery styles available for you. Like one of my favorite is One UI 7, which I'm using. And if you move on to some theming options, you will notice at the bottom we have some theming options and the wallpaper options are available included in theming settings, not the separate section for that, which already brings you wallpaper blur and so on. So nothing unique in this case, but it's available. Same goes with some other options. We have dark theme option, which also brings you black options. If your device has AMOLED display, this might be helpful for you. Fonts customizations, icon pack customizations, icon shape and so on. All these things are quite similar. The new preview UI, which is a part of Infinity X, it's not present here. We have some security bypass features, which you were expecting. All the options are present like application downgrade, hiding the screen capture status, ignore windows, secure flags and so on. All these options are available. Nothing is missing. And same goes with the spoofing options. We have pixel props, we have key box, XML option available, Play Store spoofing, Google Photo spoofing and so on. If you have working key box, as I just told you, I made a video already on the working key box, how to find that. So you can simply download from there and install and pass a strong integrity in case you want to. Although, as I just told you, I'm using a GSI in this case just to experience which are the things included. But if you want to check this out, if it is available unofficially, you can go for it. If you do not have that, you can experience GSI in case you want to. All the things, features already present in this case. I mean, I'm using this GSI and DSU side loader. So no data wipe and also I just experienced the latest Android 16 Cherry Shows. So it's completely worth it for me. If you want to check this out, you can if you need GSI and how to install that. All the required things, the links are available in the description. This is it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one. Take care.